What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, we got a battle of the heavyweights. Two champs going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to see who is going to be the king of Nexa Mining. So, LOL Miner version 1.67 versus Rigel Miner version 1.3.5, both released on the same day. And before we get into it, do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. So let's start by taking a look at the GitHub for LOL Miner. So they make some claims here. So they're basically saying NVIDIA Turing based GPUs increased by approximately 35%, Ampere GPUs by approximately 1.5%, and then if you're running a 10 gig card, up to 5% performance increase, and then on ADA based GPUs, approximately 25% on locked memory clock at 5000 and about 8% on unlocked memory. Now, in contrast, Rigel Miner makes no claims about their improvements. They just simply let it do the talking for them. Now, also, in case you need your extra arguments for your overclocks, you will find those listed down below on Rigel's GitHub page. So, for example, you will probably want your core clock offset command as well as your memory clock and your locked core clock command or locked memory clock. So, I am currently using NVTool, and the reason that I'm using NVTool at the moment is because I want to reproduce the test identically to the test that we've already run in regards to Nexa mining miners, such as LOL Miner, BZ Miner, and Wild Rig. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the farm real quick. And we're going to jump into Alderaan, which is a 3060 Ti rig, excuse me, 3070 Ti rig. And you can see our hash rates and our wattages here. And just so you're aware of what overclocks I am currently running, everything is the same. We're running a core offset of 265, memory locked at 5001, and core clock locked at 515. Now I know there are more efficient settings out there, but again, we just want to reproduce the exact same overclock settings as our previous test. So we're going to stick with that for now. And let's go ahead and jump into the flight sheet here. So you should already have a Nexa wallet set up. I would imagine anybody watching this video is already familiar with Hive. But let's go ahead and look at the flight sheet real quick. So we've got Nexa selected as our coin. Then we've got our wallet. For pool, you're going to select configure and miner. And then for your miner, you are going to select Rigel. And then you're going to select Setup Miner Config. You, of course, want NexaPow as your algorithm. You're going to use your default template for your wallet, default template for your worker name. Just paste your pool URL here. You could put your extra arguments for your overclock settings here also. And then you want to select the latest version. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, 1.3.5 may already be an option to select but for those of you who are watching this video close to the same time that these have been released you're going to need to take a couple of extra steps and what you're going to need to do is you're going to go up here select remote access and then start hive shell once you can select hive shell you are going to right click paste from browser right click paste the following command that I'm going to leave down in the description below as well as the comments and also in our discord then you're going to hit OK and then you're going to hit enter now I've already installed it so we don't need to do that but once it is done you should verify that you see 1.3.5 when you put your cursor over your miner here now once you've confirmed that then you should be in good shape and good to go Oh, looky there. There was a little fluctuation. I don't know if you noticed that, but I noticed it. And let me go ahead and show you the results between the two. So if you guys are keeping up with the channel, you know we've performed head-to-head -head tests between Wild Rig, BZ Miner, and LOL Miner version 1.66. And then in a recent video, I also did one for LOL Miner version 1.67. That was before I realized that Rigel had released their version. And here's the difference. So, between LOL Miner version 1.66 and 
we increased efficiency by 5.74 percent on a 3060 ti 5.88 percent on a 3070 7.65 percent on a 3070 ti 10 percent on a 3080 and 9.1 percent on a 3080 ti and then we've increased hash rate also by 4.63 percent on a 3060 ti 4.92 percent on a 3070 and so on now from lol minor version 1.67 to rigel minor these are the following increases so a 3060 ti jump from 45 and a half mega hash at 94 watts to 51.95 at 94 watts a 3070 we jump from 54.4 to 63.3 we actually dropped wattage by one watt a 3070 ti we jumped from 54.81 mega hash to 65.78 mega hash we did increase our wattage slightly and then on a 3080 we jumped from 80 mega hash at 161 watts to 90.69 mega hash at 169 watts and then the 3080 we jumped from 94 and a half mega hash at 205 watts to 101.6 at 211 watts and here are the differences between lol minor version 1.67 and rigel minor version 1.3.5 so we've increased efficiency by up to 17 and a half percent on a 3070 14 percent on a 3060 ti 10.8 percent on a 3070 ti almost eight percent on a 3080 and about five or excuse me four and a half percent on a 3080 ti an increased hash rate of 14.3 percent on a 3060 ti 16.36 percent on a 3070 20 percent efficiency on a 3070 ti 13.28 percent on a 3080 and 7.55 percent on a 3080 ti and with those results in mind, I think it's going to be pretty easy to declare a winner on this particular round. But stay tuned. We will have newer minor releases in the future, and I'll keep you guys updated. Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor before you go. Hit that like and hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.